narrowband imaging has been evaluated in more than 20 studies for its value in real-time discrimination of conventional adenomas from serrated polyps. In general, MBI has improved the accuracy of real-time endoscopy-based estimates of histology when used in combination with high magnification colonoscopes or with high definition standard magnification colonoscopes. Several previous studies using standard magnification high definition colonoscopes have been performed using the Xera 2 Olympus colonoscopes, also commonly known as 180 series colonoscopes. Recently, Olympus has made commercially available the Xera 3, also known as the 190 series. The 190 series has several imaging improvements compared with the 180 series. One of these is push-button controlled optical magnification. The second is better luminal illumination when the instrument is in the NBI mode. The 190 series contains software that allows easier image capture. It is designed to avoid the repeated image freezing that is often needed to capture satisfactory images with the 180 and earlier Olympus endoscope series. Like the 180 series, the 190 series also allows electronic image magnification to 1.2 or 1.5 times standard image size. Bave et al. evaluated the impact of the 190 series on image capture, image quality, and polyp discrimination. Here's what they have to say. Patients and methods. In consecutive patients undergoing outpatient colonoscopy, images of colorectal polyps were taken with Olympus 190 or 180 series instruments. The number of image captures needed to obtain an adequate image, quality of stored images, proportion of polyps with a high confidence estimate of likely histology, and accuracy of interpretations were compared. Results. An acceptable image at the first attempt was obtained in 97.3% of photos with the 190 devices versus 83.8% with the 180 instrument. In the 190 group, narrowband imaging provided high confidence readings in 9% more cases than in the 180 group, but did not improve accuracy of polyp categorization. The quality of the stored images was judged better for the 190 device. However, when images that had provided high confidence estimates of polyp histology were reinterpreted later by the original endoscopist, there was agreement with the original interpretation for more than 98% of polyps in both the 180 group and the 190 group. A second endoscopist agreed with the original high confidence interpretations for 90% of polyps imaged with either the 180 or the 190 scope. The authors found that the use of a new colonoscope by a single expert endoscopist with a special interest in colonoscopy showed that the new colonoscope had less image blurring, improved the subjective quality of stored images, and increased the proportion of high confidence endoscopic estimates of polyp histology, but did not improve accuracy in estimating polyp histology. Since many aspects of colonoscopic technology are operator dependent, the authors conclude that additional study by other endoscopists of the new technological features of the 190 series colonoscopes is warranted.